dopamine and testosterone tend to hang out together. Now it's interesting because, uh, and I always love this study. So um, prolactin is a really interesting one that people don't think about a whole, whole lot. Prolactin is responsible for milk letdown in, in females for, for nursing. But in males, there's really good data, beautiful study published in Nature a few years ago that even, let's say um, a man and a woman uh, conceive a child. There's a tendency for the man to also gain weight close to the delivery. Now, some people are really good with their behavior, right? They take, like yourself, they take, you know, I just met you now, but obviously, you know, you're in great shape. You take great care of yourself. You're, you're paying attention to your diet. You know, think about a lot of your friends. You got a lot of friends. They all got dad kids. bod. They all got dad bod, right? Why? Now, there's actually an evolutionary mechanism that causes prolactin secretion in males as the young start to show up. It does two things. It suppresses sexual appetite and it puts on fat stores. And the reason is it's preparing the fathers for long nights of no sleep, mm. right? So we, you know, we evolved all these systems on that background. Now, in addition, um, mating. So before orgasm, uh, sorry, I should be specific. Before ejaculation in males, the dopamine levels are very high. Testosterone is increased by sexual activity. And then there's a after uh, ejaculation, not after orgasm, but after ejaculation, there's a uh, secretion of prolactin. That secretion of prolactin is actually responsible for the refractory period during which you can't uh, obtain an erection. Oh, you know, now and in the duration of that prolactin response dictates how soon, again, a male will, um, will seek sex. 